He finally found her little nest by the fire. <laughs> Slack's just left. I'm going to do a bit of tidying because this kitchen and the living room really need it. Paul! Paul! Dad! Blue team in grunt! Dad, ma, ride me Adel now. We'll be remiss. We may join the F League. Please? Hey, it's the next day. For the past 24 hours, I have been vegging out. Um, well, I, not strictly true. I have been doing a bit of cleaning, I'm doing a bit of YouTube stuff. I've gone and taken a bunch of stuff back to the post office from Christmas and from Poundland. If you remember that, I finally returned all that stuff from that Poundland Zoella video I did. Yeah, I got, got the 12 pounds back. Maddie was worried that it was all Christmas stuff and it was all gonna be put in the like centered landfill or gotten rid of because they can't sell it anymore. But actually only one thing was, and by what the woman behind the till was saying, it sounds like they do collect it and use it for something. So I said I'd give that money to charity, and I will. I've just got to figure out the right charity. Any suggestions, pop them in the comments. I've got a few in mind, but I've mainly been gaming. I watched, uh, what's that film called? Allegiant. Because I watched the other, the first two with Maddie. I was like, well, I've, I've gone this far, I may as well finish it. And I didn't realise it was part one. They've done what Harry Potter and the Hunger Games did. And they've split up the final film to make more money. It was okay. I like Jeff Daniels. And then I watched Assassin's Creed. That was okay. <laughs> Could have been better. Could easily have been better. It's a bit muddled. Anywho, I am, whoa, the light. I'm gonna make some dinner now. Yesterday, I don't think I filmed it. I made curry. Yeah, I made a chana masala, like I always make. And now I'm making a quick stir fry. Oh, I forgot onion. I haven't got an onion. I just went to the shop and I didn't get an onion. Ha ha! I found some in the onion pot. It's literally a pot that says onions on it. There you are. So let me get these ingredients out. So what you'll need for this dish is noodles as a base. I prefer noodles, but I've also got some leftover rice from the curry. Garlic, ginger, onion. And then I just have, it's gonna be a quick one. I've just got pepper and tofu, which I had the forethought to marinate overnight in uh, soy sauce. So I hope that should taste pretty Nice. And then lastly, you've got one banana. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I even cleaned the microwave today. I'm a changed man. I've got some wontons, leftover wontons from yesterday. They're like 50p in Tesco for like 24. I love it when all the old Christmas stock gets put on sale. All right, here we are. I thought I was filming when I pulled it out, but I wasn't probably for the best because I spilt a bit, because it is nearly impossible to get this out neatly because the noodles are so long. It does taste good. Not incredible. It was a bit of a quick and lazy meal. The tofu is excellent though. I think marination is key. I've also got singer beer. Is that how you say it? That's where someone in Thailand was saying you say it sing, not singer. I have a fond memories of this beer because this is the first beer I had when we landed in Thailand and I realized just how cheap everything there was. My parents' flight gets in about 11. This monstrosity is still up. I tried watering it, but I think it's long since died. So I want to take it down, get all these slightly strange ornaments off and give it a hoover. Goodbye Christmas. I'm gonna miss that smell. Sorry, ran out of battery. Can you see how red I am? That's crazy. Ah, I'm all done. Well, I'm not nearly done. Uh, my parents will be back in a bit. 
I'm just doing one last thing. That is to wrap up my mum's birthday present. My parents asked me to get one of these for Maddie for Christmas. Uh, and while I was in there, I took the liberty of getting a different scent for my mum. One that she really likes. It's like an Estee Lauder one or something. Uh, it smells exactly the same. I'm quite impressed. So I've got to wrap that up. I've got a headache. I need to drink more water. Drink more water, everybody. Look what we got. Oh, I just read it from Lynn. It says, I'm vegan, I'm vegan, I'm vegan. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Bloody preachy brownies. Catch. Ow! <laughs> that was that smooth. Really if you hadn't yelled out, that would have been really smooth. I always catch everything. I'm like a ninja. There's never. No. <laughs> Stop! Don't! Don't! Alex, no! Catch! Small spoon, mate! Catch! No! Alex! Uh, you're the one who catches. Well, I said catch! Oh! So I don't take orders from anyone. Alex, are you gonna throw it or what? Nice! Get away! <laughs> Popcorn! Oh, I think I see it. Ugh! Oh, it's out of the freezer, it's all wet. Not the popcorn, the other stuff. Hiya! Didn't catch that one, did you? <laughs> so I'm back in Brighton. In case you hadn't guessed. Here's my leftovers from yesterday. There's loads. And I was sitting and eating the food last night and I was thinking to myself, this meal is really dry and not very flavorful. And that's when I realized. You're an idiot. The coconut milk and the yellow curry paste I'd bought, I had left in the cupboard and forgot to put in. You made curry and you forgot to put It wasn't the curry. the curry. It was meant to be a stir fry, so I, I put like garlic. No, if you put curry paste and coconut milk, it's a curry. No, it was, it was meant to be a sort a of curry. stir fry curry like you made the other day. Right. And then I just made a... Not to make it a curry. I just put garlic, onion, ginger, and then I put the rest in. And I was like, why does this taste so bland and so dry? But I put some sweet chili sauce on it, it was nice. Hurry I'm hurrying up. But well, now I'm going to make it again. Put some rice in to bulk it up. Oh, where's the pan? Let me put a pan out there. So I just pop the paste in with a bit of milk and then plop the rest in. Look at this brown gunk. Oh, it smells good. It's like ice cream. Whee! The next day. Behind the scenes of my cooking video, we just made some nachos and this is the leftovers. We're probably gonna make some more later because I have more guacamole and more beans. So probably gonna and Alex also, don't you have some more? Yeah, he's got some more crisps down here. So we've had like some of this now, and um I think Alex said that he would like some more later, so may as well. Because this is for a comfort food video comfort food recipes which I think maybe went up today um, or yesterday so go check it out and we've got some more cheese sauce as well so may as well use that all up um, it's gonna be a very fun food day because we're gonna have nachos burgers brownies and crumble so big meals that are gonna be very delicious are you excited how are the nachos oh they're so good <laughs> that's just like Alex's favorite food aren't they yeah. also I had my hair cut I never took you because um, Alex was at home and I didn't think to bring a camera. I should have done, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Let's get a clip of it. But I hadn't had my hair cut since I went, before I went traveling. So maybe it was like March, April time. I don't even know. I can't remember. No. So it's a really long time. My hair's getting really tangly. So I went to get a haircut. And because I'm doing no poo, lots of you go, oh, how do you do a haircut? If you're doing no poo, all you have to do is ask for a wet cut and then just ask not, for your hair not to be shampooed so they just wet your hair when you get to the hairdressers and um, I just had a chat with her about doing low poo and she'd never heard of it and she thought it was 
interesting. She was like, oh, okay. She was asking what shampoo I used and um, I said I made some of my own sometimes and she was interested. So yeah, it's really not a problem at all. And it saves you some money because you don't have to pay for the blow dry and the, the shampoo and everything. I feel like it looks a lot shorter, but it always does when you have like layers and stuff added and when your hair's been like cut. Did you also tell them about the fact that we have no hot water? Oh, well, not yet. So I feel like I haven't been on this. Alex, I guess this, did you say this video is gonna be like a series of a few days over the weekend? Yes. Yeah, um, when Alex was away, I woke up the next day and there was no hot water. And I was like, of course this would happen when I'm by myself. And um, there's a miss, the part, one of the parts in the boiler's broken. So we, have, we aren't gonna have hot water till Tuesday. So I had to have a freezing cold shower yesterday and it was the most horrible thing. I think I nearly, I felt like I was gonna get hypothermia. I was by myself and I was like really worried for a second because I put my head under the water and I get, got immediate brain freeze. And I was like, what have I done? Um, but I'm gonna go to the gym and shower at the gym later because I can use the showers there, I guess. I've never really showered there before, so we'll see. But um, we're being, both being a bit gross because we don't have hot water. And um, yeah, not very nice, is it? You realize when things like this happen, how like simple things like that are, like how much they mean. Because like just having hot water is just such a given. And when you don't have it, it's like, oh So very grateful to have hot water and have access to a shower right now. Good thing I don't shower, I shower like once a week. <laughs> Me, he, you think he's joking. Little do you know. <laughs> Little do you know. <laughs> so we made some lovely brownies, but they are fail. They are terrible. They aren't terrible. I just, something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong and Maddie can't figure out what. I've made them so many times. They're actually probably, out of all the baked recipes in my ebook, they're the one that I made the most. They're the one that I've made since I was little. Mm. And then I adapted them and I've just kind of changed them over the years. And when I went vegan, I changed them. I've made them for you so many times, haven't I? Like I've literally, more than anything, I the thing that I cook baking wise is brownies. So I can't figure out, but it's been so long since I last cooked them. <clears throat> so I can't figure out what it is that's gone wrong. Yeah, because they just... They taste really they good taste dry. Awful. Because really no, they taste awful. No, they taste... They taste amazing, but... Just a little dry. Look at that! So basically, we're using this because of all the condensation. And this is like a window vacuum. Oh my god, it works so well! What's it designed for? Windows. Oh my god, this is so clever. Come on, do it. the middle one. Do that big bit there. I used to use it in the shower to dry the sides. Go on, go, go, get that. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, oh, look how cute. Oh my god, this is so pleasing. We, co we have continuous just condensation in every room of this house. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Kind of dark, isn't it? That's pretty grim. Ew. Uh, it's, why is it like that? Dirty windows. That's so pleasing though, because that's no longer in the room. <laughs> yeah. And we can do that regularly now. That's so good. We can do it in the shower. Oh, I literally, that is one of the most kitchen. satisfying things you have ever I done. Because in my parents' shower at their house, they had um, like a side part in the shower. Yeah. You know, with like tiles, but it's flat, so if you had a shower, the water would just pull up oh, right, yeah. and it would make it go mouldy and yellow, especially because it was hard water and I'd use that. And so ends a rather strange mishmash of a video. Do you have the lighting? Tomorrow a new week begins, back to our regularly scheduled content. Quite excited for that. Week's been a bit all over the place, but we've tidied the flat, we've done loads of cooking, yeah, I'm optimistic for the week ahead. Not that I've got anything in particular to do. Although it is Maddie's birthday at the end of the week. That'll be fun. Hope you enjoyed. See you then. And now I've got to find some old B-roll to use at the end of this video. So, enjoy that. <laughs>